Hi, I'm Jennifer with Martingale, and I have a fabulous trunk show of quilts to share with you today from the book Moda Bake Shop, Rolling Along. It features quick and easy quilts from two and a half inch strips. And if you're a jelly roll lover like I am, you're gonna love these patterns. All right, first up, this is Rose Compass by Melissa Corey. And as you can see, it is quite a big quilt. It uses two identical jelly rolls to make this fabulous quilt of compass-like blocks. And a background that's like a mini dot. You can't really see that, but kind of a grunge dot maybe as the background. The next quilt is by designer Susan Vaughn, and it is called Garden Lattice. And it uses one jelly roll to make this beauty and some additional fabric to do the setting triangles in the background, which is a tone-on-tone -on -tone print for this one. Now, if you're not familiar with jelly rolls, um, they feature 40 two and a half inch strips, generally uh, at least one of every fabric in a line and sometimes two pieces. And those strips are pre-cut to two and a half inches, so it gives you a great head start on cutting out for your quilts. I have with me uh, today, you can't see her off camera, but maybe you can wave our celebrity guest hand. It's like a celebrity guest picker, only she only wants her hands to show. So she's here helping me hold these up. And this next quilt, I need a helper because it's called Family Picnic and it's by Corinne, Corinne Sovi. It uses two jelly rolls and a strip piecing technique to make piecing this that much easier. So you can see <clears throat> there are some strip blocks and some nine patch looking blocks, a really fun pattern, and it makes a full size quilt, queen size maybe. <clears throat> Jessica Dayon is another of the bake shop bakers, and her quilt is called Summertime Fun, and it uses one jelly roll and some background fabric to make this super cute picnic throw that I just love. Now Mo Bake Shop, they call their designers bakers because they bake up recipes for quilts and so it's a variety of designers that contributed to this book. Lisa Alexander compiled them and this quilt is by Jen Daly, designer Jen Daly and it is called Backcountry Cabins. It uses one jelly roll and even these little cabins that look kind of oversized are made from jelly roll strips so she really makes the most of uh, the jelly roll and she used one roll that was a holiday theme to create her quilt so backcountry cabins a white fence railing was the inspiration for our next baker mode of bake shop maker uh, michelle coons and it's called riding the rails and it uses one jelly roll as well and a background fabric. You can see where her fence inspiration came from. Now I'm always a fan of quilts that have a circular uh, sort of feel to them, but are made only with squares and rectangles. How do they get the illusion? But Charlotte Krenzel did it with her quilt, Chain Links. So can you see that sort of linking chain appearing and almost circular? And then she accented it with that uh, oval sort of quilting that I think you can see as the light hits it. And this is called chain links. It uses one jelly roll and background fabric is a, a white dot on a white background. So it's tone on tone, but I love that she played along that um, circular feeling by picking a circular shaped uh, motif in her background fabric. Hummingbirds by Nicola Dodd is a really clever use of a classic Dresden plate block. So she used uh, one jelly roll and a Dresden plate motif and then also used it to make the fan uh, wing here of the hummingbird. How clever is that? Love it. 
Storm Warning by Ann Weens. This is such a clever use of a jelly roll because it looks like you would have to have a bigger piece of fabric to make the center of this block and then just go around it. That is not how these blocks are made. They're made by strip piecing jelly roll strips together and cutting triangles from them to put together the blocks. Such a clever way to use a jelly roll. So that's Ann Weens and Storm Warning and it uses one jelly roll. Okay, now on to Crossroads. And you're gonna see very quickly why this one is called what it is. Lisa Jo Giradot and Crossroads uses two jelly rolls and some background fabric to make this big throw that is such a fun maze of jelly roll strips. What a great way to showcase them. Christine Weld made a quilt that she is calling Family Reunion. And it is a medallion style quilt. It does use uh, one jelly roll. She patterned it off of the old granny square crochet sort of looking block and gradated her colors out so that all her oranges and grays are around the outside going to the green tones in the center with the gold around that. Absolutely stunning. And last but not least is this quilt. And you really have to see the whole thing to get an idea. It's called Tartan Chic by the mother-daughter combination of Audrey Mann and Diane Brinton. You might know them as the cloth parcel. Um, it is two blocks straight set. All of this circular motion that you see in the background is really just the design. It has a border around it and it is called Tartan Chic. It is also the quilt that is on the cover. So I hope that you've enjoyed our trunk show today. All of these patterns are available in the book Rolling Along, Moda Bake Shop Rolling Along. Quick and easy quilts from two and a half inch strips. It's available from shopmartingale.com or wherever you buy books. I hope you enjoyed our trunk show.